Hello, everyone. This is Emir. How you guys doing? Today we're doing stuff. We're doing this. Uh, we're doing. We're doing a breakdown of uh, the production of uh, now one of the beloved tracks that we that are just that just released called Craving. And we got a special guest here today. We got one Moody Boy. How you doing, one Moody Boy? Yeah. He's doing. He's doing. Hell yeah. We decided today it would be pretty fun to uh, try to go and introduce you guys this this whole track, the breakdown of this boy, but with uh, my co-writer over here because this uh, he, he was he was a big important part of it. He he wrote basically all the lyrics and like helped with like well we co-wrote the melody there and. Yeah. He also helped out with a little bit of like some of the production choices and stuff of that. So super important part, you know. Honestly, it wouldn't be craving without our boy here, the moody one. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So I think we started with trying to get like the uh, the uh, the drop down first, right? Mm. We 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 always start with the drop. We do start with the drop. Yeah. Yeah. Always want to go dark. Mm -hmm. That's the Mm -hmm. that's the fundamentals. Uh huh. Dark electronic elements of some rock in yeah, there yeah, yeah. cool moody vocals yeah so i think what we did is we made a sample of like some distorted vocal we added a bunch of effects on it let me see if i can even yeah they added like some distortion some little altar boy ozone imager some eq and a little filter to kind of cut down on the high end there to make it sound uh, nice and spicy and then we did some automations over here to make that that thing kind of like open up like like that you know like it starts off like kind of filtered right open up the filter i really like this intro man like all the little freaking elements that we got over here like the little noise swell over here sounds so nice you know it sounds so nice then we got this sub drop over here this guy oh, that's for the boys with the subs at home you can't even hear that. <laughs> and then what else do we had we i know we had some other stuff going on in this we had oh yeah some piano stuff check this out we had this thing dang okay i think we started with yeah we start with the chords we did start we, we with the chords. We laid down the chords, and then we're like, how do we make this thing, like, bang? Remember it sounded, like, slightly different when we started it? Yeah, I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to think of right now. Yeah, I'm trying to remember it, too. I could, I could like, try to search for it. Um, so we grabbed uh, two of the very first demos that we had. We have Craving ID 1, Craving ID version 3. Let me show you Craving ID 1, how it originally sounded. We started off with just the drop and everything, like this. Start with that trap shit, you know? Demo vocals. A lot of meandering. A lot of meandering. (laughs) Oh my god, it sounds so empty compared to before. Yeah, we kept like uh what we added so much to that compared like like I guess compared to like the, the modern one now if we go to here this bad boy Yeah, a lot of like high end and stuff, more hi hats. And then from this version, we went to something along the lines of this to start building up on the melodies and the chords, I think the progression we didn't end up keeping it like this because it was too long. No, Remember that? Decided that intro would be a little too. Uh, we wanted to keep it more, I guess, pop, mm-hmm. if you want to say. So the intro was a little too dramatic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was super dramatic back then. We're very dramatic. Super drama. Very classical. Yeah, dude. Yeah, already this was so long. It sounded sick, long, but like. Long. Huh. Pretty jazzy. Yeah. A lot softer. But what's cool is we we kind of like we kept the melody there, and we just worked around so with. So like it. we were singing 
the melody, yeah, it was kind of like we were listening to the to the beat go on, and I was just going like, yeah, na 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 na, uh, and then like we we kind of rolled with that sort of flow, mm-hmm. and that kind of I think that translated into the what would you say the the beat? The, yeah, I guess. <laughs> kind of just took from there like that monotone sound, and then the melodies there that he was just singing. Yeah, we we went more into the uh we cut this in half this section. Just had it I think like once to get yeah, right into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, life is all I crave. My heart is broken. I tell the vision all the Yeah. So that, yeah, this is the thing. That that section was like way too long for what we were intending with it. We wanted it to be like like uh, like Moody Boy was saying, like a little bit shorter, more kind of radio pop friendly. Gives you more room to kind of try a few different melodies. Yeah. So we had like a really long section where you can just sing over it, mm-hmm. see what sticks. Mm-hmm. So let's get to the uh, to the first verse over here. Let me go. Already here, it's like way different we already incorporated the beats inside at the very beginning because we need to kind of build on having people grooving from the very get-go of the song right Mm -hmm. but interesting thing i don't know if you guys know this one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three it's like a it's like a waltz kind of thing and we go from a waltz to a four four in the drop which i found like super interesting and super fun because it's like it's a hard thing to do, but if you do it right, it can sound really cool. So this kind of just makes you like bop, you know, like in a halftime. So let me go isolate the drums here so we can check those out. Really fun lo-fi sounding drums. It's, uh, what do we use? We used uh, a free Labs drum kit. And I think I distorted it. Yeah, I put like Devil Locks, uh, filters, some bit crushers, more filters, some imaging, some more filters, some EQ, little Gulfos. Little Gulfos. Gulfos. Added the big stomp in there. Ooh. Added some triplet perks in there. A little big snare going. So it's kind of showing that it's starting to break away from the lo-fi elements and go right into that. What else we got over here? We got some thick bases, huh, buddy? What do we got? What do we got? Ooh. Ooh. So we have this bass that kind of sounds like it's breathing a bit. I think that is serum. Yeah. What am I doing on the serum bait? Can I open this boy up? Oh yeah, this was a base that we created. Just a little freaking uh, fricker. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> yeah, it's doing a little bit of like, uh, just some LFOing. I think I sidechained the LFO to the filter cutoff over here. I'm using a, ooh. I'm using this weird high EQ one over here. Dang, got this thing going. I don't know what that does, gotta, oh. Right, that's all the that's all the buzz at the top of it. I'm pretty sure this is ott as well. No, it isn't. It's multi. Oh, that would have been cool too. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. I went into it too deep. Um, so we got that. Then we got the serum with bass. Another bass that I think. Nah, this is a preset. But we played around with it a little bit. I think. Nice. Put those bad boys together again. Wow. So you got like the sub bass kind of staying at like more or less the center. And then you got this other kind of like high pitched like breathing bass to kind of create contour and shape and movement in the bass. It's it's not like really at the forefront if you hear it all together. Take control. It's just more ambience. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, yeah. Keys. Now, for the keys, there's absolutely nothing. All right. Next up, yeah. we got... The- <laughs> That's it. No keys. <laughs> no keys for that section. <laughs> Don't need them. Don't need them. We want space. And speaking of space, one thing that really kind of creates like a sense of space is choir. Uh, these are choirs that I actually went and recorded by myself. And then this is it kind of printed with a lo-fi aesthetic. I'm, I'm using this filter thing over here. Just kind of giving an ah sound to it. And it's I think it's also kind of making it flutter a bit. And then you got RC to kind of give it some old school vibes. Let's see if I take these off. Yeah, this is how it sounds. Wow. Pretty. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, I know, huh? It's so nice. We did some fun stuff to this track, yeah, if you yeah. think about it. I think when it was inside the track, I kind of wanted it to sound more like an ah. So the orb really helps with that. See, it changed from sounding like an M a mm, to an ah. So this is like super useful if you want to reshape like some of your choirs to change the the phonetics of it, and this is why I love this freaking uh, love this freaking plugin, man. It's uh, from uh, Audio Things. They're surprisingly cheap too. Then like RC to ooh make it a little bit more mono, a little wobble, give some extra movement. Hell yeah, dude. After that, we go into like a slightly bigger choir here. go back into the mms with the proper choir here i guess i might as well show you how it's split we have the low highs oh. and then we added uh this uh yeah voice of the wind it's basically this female vocal some dark soul shit right there. yeah that does sound like dark Souls. it's right out of dark souls 3 that's that's one thing the more dark souls a, a track sounds the better in there general that that is just fact what at this point <laughs> and then after that what other kind of elements do we have going on ah uh, yes i forgot i got a little organ i got a little organ Where are the keys organ this is from my juno stage it's one of the best sounding organs i have and it was super cheap sound more ambient stuff emphasizing some rhythm with uh, some chords and melodies and stuff to really kind of make it feel like it's building up you know that with the uh, effects I don't even know what we're doing for the effects very basic stuff Yeah, that's one thing I've been trying to do as well in terms of like effects, kind of like builds ups, transitions, sweeps and stuff is that they're really cool. But if you have like other elements like that are pitched, like say those choirs or say those organs that help build it up, it will sound way more interesting and unique rather than using like uplifters, downlifters, just stacking a bunch of those. I mean, we still do them, of course, because it sounds amazing. There's a bunch of them over here. But, you know, if you want a little color, a little, little uniqueness, try adding, you know, some rising tones and stuff like that. That usually helps. And now let's get to the vocal, good sir. This is our bread and butter. This is the holy grail of the track. Let me go. Get out of my life. It sounds so pretty just a little. <laughs> Dude. So we spent a lot of time on the vocals here, huh? Like, one thing uh, I know one Moody Boy loves to do, and it makes sense, because especially for this track, it worked so well. Um, he's, like, really good at, like, auto-tuning and making sure that everything is, like, perfectly, like, on pitch, you know? First of all. <laughs> First of all. First of all. <laughs> Emir here, yeah, yeah. as you guys know. Hell of a vocalist. Man, there's no, there's there's no corrections to be done here, dude. There's, <laughs> there's nothing to do. Like, one thing I like to do with the vocals, and I took this from uh, Black Bear, honestly. Yeah. Um, pitch formatting, but automating the pitch format so that it changes in shapes, you know? We do pitch format. So, like, from Uyubak, he's kind of, like, cemented this, this sound to him. Yeah. Where he's got 
a little pitch shifter down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so we're sort of incorporating that wherever we can with every track moving forward. Just keeps that identity, I guess. I think mm -hmm. it's, it's important. It means that I can kind of make my voice sound very different depending on like the tonalities and the pitch shifter is one of the elements that really helps with that you know like you said, well he was the sirens voices as well he, that's he it. was doing the uh, the choirs that's it so, so like works to your favor exactly like one thing like i've i've learned and i used to like just like mimic a lot when i was younger is uh, i try to mimic like high soprano vocals you know like those give me some you know like those like those vocals and i don't know like I, I don't know about you but like i had an obsession with like high vocals like trying to sound h as high as possible like i remember listening to like jared leto from 30 seconds to mars Dude. and like even like is it not sleeping with sirens you're talking about pierce the veil right now pierce the veil bro. vic okay no, nobody's got vic <laughs> not even kellen actually no no kellen is Kellen's pretty high. I don't Kellen's get really how they high. go that high, man. It's yeah. it's something. That was something like I wished so bad. Like I wanted to sing as high it's as possible. It's not in our timber, dude. It wasn't it's in our timber. It's not in our timber. It isn't. But now with modern technology, look what you can do. You can pitch shift. You can do all these unique things. And that's one thing I absolutely love. And especially when you start morphing the automation. Like over here, we did like just a little bit this time around. We didn't do it too much. But like in Uyibak and even some other tracks that... uh we're working on which i'll not say anything <gasps> about <gasps> jasp um we're doing like a lot of like automation stuff so we yeah. like it we love it let's see what else we got Let me go. oh, get out of my life. we did a little bit of doubling as well i think i'm using vocal doubler for that from isotope I don't know some high vocal octaves up there this guy over here, this guy. Nice and tight. Nice and tight, nice very and quiet, tight. tucked in, you know. Very simple, not too much, you know. Same thing over here. This place is a little more active. Yeah, we added that in. It kind of just goes and adds to it, especially when you have like the formant going like super low and like like low formanty kind of thing like this. This helps to kind of contrast it mm -hmm. and give it a little bit more depth and, and power. Honestly, for anybody that wants to kind of like upgrade their vocals, one thing you can absolutely do is just do doubles, pat them hard left, hard right, and tuck them in. Like slowly bring them all the way down, like with like fader all the way down, and then slowly tuck them in to see what they do in terms of dimension and then at the same time you can do that say with octaves so in this case over here we did it with octaves we have two we have a hard left hard right and that just goes and adds depth and dimension as well as adding you know character and color to your voice especially if you have like a lower sounding voice as well so that helps and then over here you you see this was actually this was your idea i i kind of just kept the the low shifter pitch shifter for the main vocal just kind of staying the same over here but you went and you th you said let's bring it up let's kind of transition it back so that when the new main vocal in the like the build-up comes in yeah i remember yeah you remember that right from all of the around here the automation slowly so, fucking helpless. so goes and transitions slowly to my normal voice there yeah, and then so many new processes going on in that one jeez what do we do for this those are all my plugins i don't even know what's going on dude there's so many plugins on dude, these I'm vocals i'm just listening to you talk about this i, I barely like <laughs> remember going through any of this i'm just i'm learning as we go back <laughs> <laughs> it's like bro i wasn't even there dude <laughs> like this is a, this it's never organized oh uh, dude it's absolutely not organized. always capping yeah <laughs> your base is always crashing oh yeah if you look down here my cpu is blasting at its maximum force i haven't even started getting into like the drop where it gets really bad yeah. but <laughs> but yeah uh we slapped so much effects on this i i don't even know what to say there's like all the effects to tame the main vocal and then i think there's some stereo little altar boy to do some pitch shifting um what else is there there's this weird effect going on over here at the very end of this i don't even 
no dude that's just like a really highly compressed vocal just to add some air and and sheen and like crispness to the top vocal there let's see yeah. oh another thing we also have this random choir over here doing ha 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 like this guy listen <laughs> adding a little bit of rhythm to it Yeah, that only shows up there and I think at like a little bit at the end there. Dang, dude. I don't even know if we really even needed this. Actually, like, listen, like, quietly. It adds a little something. It's very small. It, it's so small that you could have, I could have probably, like, just got a good portion of all these tracks that are just there. Yeah. <laughs> There we forgot they even I honestly forgot this existed like Dude. I think for like the whole entire time we wrote it. This was written at the beginning. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> yes, the uh all the samples over here. These are these are kind of crazy, dude. These are kind of crazy. I'm trying to act like I knew these were here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, we call it the child choir. I think it literally is like um a Japanese children choir from Omnisphere. I think it actually is. And I just kind of like smacked it in. Adds kind of like a, a bit of a creepiness to it, you know? Just having that high register there with like the... Wee, 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 wee. And that was kind of like the thing that inspired you to write about sirens, I think. Because it did kind of sound like a... Was it the children? No, not the children, sorry. Uh, this guy, the, the lead... I know either that or one of these things were following the other. Right? It could have been the choir. Could have been. Could have been. I don't. <laughs> I don't so remember like, too. Either we just we just go with it. Yeah, we, we just, just went with it. Whatever it takes us there. Uh, this is the f this is the fucking bass, right? <laughs> what do we got for the bass? This is the fucking bass. <laughs> it's the bass. <laughs> Literally, just call the fucking the fucking bass. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, so this is like really bombastic sounding, like super dirty, a lot of brass elements. Brass? Yeah. The bass, of course. Buzzy bass, baby. It's a buzzy bass. Look at that buzz. Ooh. I love those little weep weep boom. It's things like that that we sit for like at least 30 minutes. <laughs> Just for that, just 30 minutes there. Yeah. Do so, we want it? <laughs> that's true. That's true. We spend so much time on like the very small, minute things. Bordering useless. Useless stuff, but it adds like a little flavor. But it just does. You know? Like a lot of other producers, I, I notice what they'll do is they'll like add a, like a bunch of unique little instruments or like elements to kind of go and color up the, the main meat of the song, you know? Mm. I personally get a little too lazy to add like a bunch of extra sounds that I just try to cover up a lot of space with the sounds that we have, which I think is kind of good. I it's mean, efficient. that's the thing, you know, like one thing with dubstep that is beautiful, but also something that I personally don't like to do a lot of is that it's always like a constant change of sounds and shaping and, and making so like morphing of sounds, different sounds like here, there, think, and there. I think you know? that's the, in terms of like songwriting. I think that is, obviously that's the point. I that's think, the of, point of dubstep. Whereas yeah. like, we're not even doing dubstep. That's, yeah. But I mean like we're, there's some points where like, I think we kind of like border and like itch a little bit of that with some of the sound design. We share the elements. You know, yeah. like uh, I think the genre that we're, that, that we write is, is, I think this is called like bass music. I think that's just what it's called. I still don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what, what type of this? genre. What, what is? We, what do we do? What do we? What do we do? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that that's actually a funny thing. I wanted to ask Cannibal and what they considered this song, like the genre, and I didn't ask. But when I went to go see like what they were like kind of stating this as, they were stating it as electro house. I don't remember. Electro what, house. I don't remember what electro house is. I know this is house. 
this thing over here this this like uh like that's a very house beat you I know guess that's, i guess it is electro house but i forgot what the electro part of it is like i have no clue if anybody has like any like modern electro house to send us give us like some comments in the comment section i'd be curious to see what it is genres don't exist genre bending time it's a melange yeah it's a melange and speaking of that's why in this kind of like build-up section we decided to go like full trap into it like aggressive trap we love playing with trap that's like definite And then into the house. Ooh. Hell yeah. Sick. Aw, oh, dang. Okay, so yeah, this is this is a super fun part. The the main thing I think that started it off was the fucking bass. So this, we put a lot of effort into it. We did a lot of like automation switches, but basically I think it's kind of like a very buzzy, like bass with a sub. And we tried to kind of like add like some harmonic elements to make it sound like a, it's doing like a major third, like the, you know, kind of thing. And then at different moments, we would go and add in, I think a shaper box to kind of add some depth. Oh, and a thermal as well. Let's see. Yeah, so the shaper box goes and adds like stereo width, so like it would stay mono and do like little moments of like stereo elements. And then over here as well. You know, like little things like that. And then in the second half of it, we go into like more of an open sounding thing. Yeah. So sick. So that's a frequency shifter that we threw on, added some distortion, some delay and uh, like really sharp delay and made it sound like this metallic kind of like overtone on top of it just to add to like the second half of it the fun thing is that even like the drums and everything like everything comes in like at weird times so if i just play the bass and the drums like you got like the hi-hats in already so it's like ooh, okay that's good that's good that's good and then uh you would think here it should come in like some new stuff but we're like no let's hold it off and then hit you with it Ooh, get that hi-hat the shaker in there yeah sick mm. so that's like the crux of the drop we have other elements obviously we got the the lead that goes on the very repetitive but like kind of like hypnotizing lead nice yeah little elements like that where it goes like super high does like a random melody like just little moments to kind of make it sound super unique and the more you listen to it the more you pick up on like those little smaller things and that's that's like that's the fun stuff you know like yeah um, I don't know what I'm doing here for the effects. Probably not much. Nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all we're doing there, buddy. <laughs> oh, we got this little fill over here that we did. Oh, yeah, we got the going down. That's like that the most important. Perfect, yeah, that was good. Those those going downs are so nice. Going down. I don't know what sample it is. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, dude. I'm also hearing like some breath. Am I am I am I crazy, dude? Do you hear like a oh, oh, oh. Dude, yeah. <laughs> oh. Did we? <laughs> we might have just do some... any uh, like we said every, <laughs> we just do things bordering useless <laughs> it's so subliminal at this point 
there's like no point to it the but i mean creative like, process is yeah <laughs> it's so good like it's so crazy to see like how all those small little things add to like the major thing at the end none of you guys even heard that none of you guys i didn't i hear didn't it. hear it we didn't hear i shit. didn't know we did it we didn't do it <laughs> that's good you know what? Disclaimer, bro. That's even not even in the there. <laughs> we didn't write. <laughs> this is <isn't> nice. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay. So another thing we did right after the drop. To still kind of create like a nice transition, we have the... The vocal there. The main vocal. Because... Yeah. It didn't show up many times in the, in the track. It just showed up more at this section. So it's there to kind of, you know, remind you. Get right into the uh, pre-chorus. All right, so I'm gonna mute the vocals here because I wanna, I wanna highlight some of the elements that are going on here, dude. Listen to this. So we have a string going on. Yeah, yeah. So sick. I believe this string is from, uh, yeah, it's from uh, East West. Yeah, I remember. Oh, that's yeah. so nice. Simple. You know, doing like the, the melody that we introduced, mm -hmm. the arpeggio stuff. Oh, what is this? It's the children. But like what we did is we added a filter to it. Oh yeah, the Mobius filter. Make it sound like kind of like things are falling. Stars and shit. The organ. Oh, with the vinyl and the halftime to make it sound like kind of warbly. We got that and then we got this one. Building up. Sick. We also have a little piano going on underneath this. Oh, man. So distorted. So distorted. It sounds more of like a pad. It sounds underwater. Oh, I love that. Wow. Uh, basses are the same as the other verse, so I'm not going to talk about those. Uh, drums. What are we doing here? Same kind of thing, I think, as the verse. Back to the triple feel. Oh yeah, let me add those FX in there. Got a tribal vibe to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, doing like the classic build up with the kick, 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 kick. Yeah, there was this thing. I, I remember there was this like effect. Yeah. I, I I think I took like the drums and I just constant I just continued to distort it as much. <laughs> this guy is <laughs> just beat just beating this drum loop to to literally crisp. It sounds like Dorito chips being crunched at this point, man. It's just could have just sampled the uh, chips could, bag. I literally could have. At this point, man, anything's possible. But here I am putting way too much effort into a sound. But all together... It's sick. It's sick. It's sick, dude. It, it's, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Yeah, that's just that's just more build up until we get to the, uh, the vocals. Same kind of deal, I think. Love me, but then doubles high vocal high high, high high octave doubles oh i put a, we put a little reverb over here check this out yeah exactly just 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 that just to that to to accent that nice little fucking and then this thing because it was a really nice little mm -hmm. so you put that on to kind of give it a little moment you know Builds up, builds up, builds up. Oh yeah, that nice melodic alteration there. Oh. So he came up with that. 
That wasn't the original melody. He just threw that in for the final take. And I was yeah. dude. <laughs> dude. Dude. <laughs> because when yeah. I hear something that, like, just tickles my fancy, mm. and Emir hit that, lie, but I'm, lie. I'm like, dude, dude. just stop. <laughs> If you're not Emir, dude, <laughs> don't do that, okay? <laughs> Emir comes at me with the, like I'm like, dude, like stop. See? <laughs> Effortless. G. Yeah. G. <laughs> Yo, dude. <laughs> so much fun. Yeah, dude, uh, obviously, like, you're, you're gonna repeat you're gonna repeat the melody you're gonna do some alterations not too much you know still keep it the same you know but but i like it bro you want to make that but i really, like it you though. really want to show that you like Dude. it you know that's almost like bro but i love it <laughs> but i but i like it uh -huh. and then we go to the i remember when we were doing that cut, I was thinking about like screwing the expectation of the listener for like the first mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. to make them think, oh, we're going to go into the vocals and stuff. But then no, no, don't have to. We don't want it. You you think the chorus was important? Nah. No, <laughs> I just finished saying it might have been. <laughs> <laughs> the whole point when we're writing something. I don't even want to know what we did. I don't. <laughs> the whole point of writing is. Um, <laughs> you think you know. Yeah, <laughs> you come in professional. You want to have an idea. You come in like, yeah, we, we, the chorus is important. And then you, you don't have a clue. The chorus is not important anymore. It was important back then. Now it's not important. <laughs> so that's where that came in. Um, if we solo it. Yeah, it's simple. Just cutting. We just cut the vocal. You guys all have that on your phone there, that, that fan effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just singing to your fan. You know, we brought it back. We're bringing back cuts, man. We're cuts are back sick. What you used to do when you thought you were singing a concert. Yeah, 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 in yeah. Your, in, your, in your basement. That's it. So we're bringing those cuts in. And I think there's other elements that emphasize the cuts. Let me check. Not really. It happens on the, um, the last drop. Yeah, we do bring it back we, in the drop. We go hard on that. Ooh. Okay, so the goal of this one was keep the same aesthetic and vibe mm -hmm. of the previous drop. Kept, obviously, the house elements in there. The but um, to really kind of still keep it in, like, the same world, but also change it up. We just took the, the bass and we made it to the chords. That's it. It's just doing the progression. I think in Uibach, you had like a totally different second drop going on there. This time, this song needed to keep it simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Needed to keep it clean. That's it. Just, it's one of those songs that like, you, you've heard it, and you're going to get it again. That's it. It's, yeah, the repetition worked really well in this section. And for those who've listened to like Carpe Diem and, and Fall, mm -hmm. uh, like, and even never change the second drop is always different you know because that that just feels so good to do i like in a song where like it completely averts your expectation all the time Definitely. so i think when i come i i wasn't part of any of those songs no you weren't usually when when i come into writing i i keep i tend to keep it into a more pop spectrum yeah that's uh, that's honestly why like i really enjoy working with mr one mood over here you're a sat for sore eyes buddy Brother, brother, I'm, fu I'm, pr I'm fucking proud, dude. I'm proud, of this. I'm proud of this shit. Let's listen to that yeah. bass, because that's that's the glory of this bad boy. Oh! Oh! So, uh, what we did is we literally added just another layer of bass. Whoa! It would originally sound like this without that layer that we added. Right? Then we added this thing known as the squash bass. Just pure stereo information, you know? Kind of like a saw kind of sound. Added some fresh air to really get it nice and bright and sizzly. And you just smack it all together. And then to drive home some aggressiveness, we added these uh, aggressive brass hits. 
you know Oof, those are good hits you know just for like the accents nice Yeah, and then uh, kept the lead the same. That's kind of like the re the repetitive. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that kind of glues everything together so we can have alterations and other elements in there. Uh, the drums are more or less the exact same thing. We didn't do much to it. We just kind of added some of the major elements from the second half of the first drop right from the get-go. It's not that we're drop. not creative, dude. We're just tired. Get that out of your head, man. <laughs> Get that out of your head, man. We're showing you bare bones here. You're going to talk like that, dude? You're going to judge like that, dude? Brother, we're just lazy at a you know certain I, point, you know, you know what I call that, dude? I call that a song, dude. That's a track. That's a keeper if I've ever seen one. Come on, dude. Don't get us down like that, guy. Come on. Yeah, I already, I already see you guys. I already hear the judge. You're like, oh, that... It's not that impressive. It's impressive, dude. It's impressive. We're putting in work out here, dude. We spent too much time on the minute details, but in the grand scheme, I don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't feel like it. You know what? Um, one thing I remember hearing is that uh, cutting out elements is just as important as adding in elements. Dude. Dude. Like, even just here, like, you just hearing the, the, the drums alone or the bass alone, you get to appreciate stuff. So sometimes the element of taking things out to make other sections sound bigger is so, so important, you know? And that's coming from two guys that put stuff in that oh is bordering God. useless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We understand, okay? We know what we're doing here. <laughs> we're tooting our horn. <laughs> we, we get it, dude. We, we, we know get what's it. going on. Okay, it's not that good. Fine. <laughs> Bye, you wanted me it. to say it? Dude, I'll say it. You didn't have to say it, guy. <laughs> <laughs> After all that, we have no hope it's for what we do. It's not that good. We don't know what we're doing, dude. Absolutely no clue. <laughs> okay? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Fine. And, yeah, so one little thing we did do to kind of make it a little spicy is over here. We do the choppy thing again, right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Too simple for you? Bring that chop, man. Simple chop. We're not doing like crazy automation stuff. I mean, there's some automation here. Didn't, didn't, didn't have to do nothing. We just chop stuff, you know? Chopping is great. I'll show you what we did for the drums there, and I'll show you what we did for the effects. Listen to these bad boys. Ooh. So I think there was like a little monster sound that I had or something. Oh yeah, it's uh right out of Transformers. Yeah, that's uh, that's an eliminate tr uh, eliminate sample there. Uh, bass glitch, Bigfoot snipple piercing. Yeah. <laughs> Bigfoot snips. You get quality from the man himself. Eliminate. Shout out to Eliminate for uh, <laughs> the amazing sample pack. Honestly, I, I use this stuff all the time. There's so there's some good stuff. His naming scheme, though, I'm not gonna lie, is uh, top notch. Business. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, just to extend this a little bit, it should end here, right? But little extra notes there beautiful really beautiful. bring down and stretch the uh the tension so then when you get here oh, release tension and release it's like did you have a good time yeah you can listen over yeah go for it another round dude take another uh, trip on the on the roller coaster but oh wow so what did we do here i think i did some little oh. in the back mm-hmm the mm -hmm. child choir like super low leco piano doing the weird fluttery kind of elements like that and then we got this all oh, this weird kind of choir which has like a weird kind of garbly kind of like crystally sound to it i love that i don't know what it is i can't even remember what it was is it this guy no it's either crystallizer from sound toys or portal by output other than that, the typical work for effects, you know, just like the classic impacts and stuff. 
the big cashmere boys you know how it is we don't play around here guy uh and then to kind of really suck it all in with the reverse glass uh, and that's it there's that's the song that's the song yeah. But uh, you can see it. There's like 150 tracks. There's a lot of things going on in this bad boy. Like if I go and... Is that a good thing? That's a great thing, buddy. You got to keep... Well, making noise? Making noise. Noise. Look at those. All those tracks. Dude. A lot of tracks. Bro. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> you know, I, I, I mentioned pop a lot. It sounds like there's nothing going on. And then you got 150 tracks of, of what was it called? Big fucking bass? <laughs> Bigfoot's uh, snipple piercing, Bigfoot brother. Bigfoot's snipple dipple. This is it. This is the entirety. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, dude. <laughs> <Jeez. I don't... laughs> to close it off, I want to thank Canna Ballin for picking this bad boy up. Thank you so much for uh, bringing me under the wing to uh, to join the Canna fam. It's, it's been an absolute pleasure. I want to thank you guys as well. The listeners, the fans, you guys are beautiful. You guys are amazing. You've literally, with this song, you've been making our day. Like me and One Moody Boy, we keep on going over how amazing your comments are and how kind you guys are. Like we're just, we, <laughs> we're just blown away. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, One Moody Boy, you want to say anything? You want to say any last bits? Yeah, uh, I'd like to... Uh... <laughs> just like to echo Emir's sentiments. Uh, good show. Bro, get to the mic. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody. Uh, sorry. <laughs> After this, it's all downhill. It's all downhill. <laughs> this, is, this is the peak. This is the peak. <laughs> We've reached our peak. The There's peak. nothing else peak. for us left. <laughs> We're done. We're done. That's it. From here on out, all I'm doing is piano tracks. I understand <laughs> I can't, I can't read. I barely write. I don't know what I'm doing here. So, uh, don't forget to like and uh, subscribe um, if you enjoyed what you saw here. New music coming soon, I promise you. Yeah. Probably sooner than you think. Who knows? Maybe. Who knows? You know, it's going to be good times. Once again, thank you, uh, Mr. OMB, for uh, showing up over here. Thank you. It was an absolute pleasure. As thank always. you, guys. And uh, we'll see you guys at the next one. And uh, a peace. <laughs> Ciao. Peace.